A full look at the weekend, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Here is what you need to know. We have a minor rain and snow vent tonight across the area, but the bigger event comes this weekend. Our storm scenario has been picked out. We have been saying since Tuesday that there were a couple possibilities. We give you what I believe is going to happen. We have some coastal flooding expected for the weekend, and then we have a polar plunge late Sunday into Monday. We'll have those temperatures in the seven-day forecast. Let's look at our dew points. Cold front passed through the area today, and that brought in chapstick alert worthy kind of air here. See dew points around zero or even in the negative digits. That funnel that's waiting to hear very dry air. Everything that you're seeing here on radar this afternoon has has broken up and is not reaching the ground. We have the warm front here, which is going to be our system for tonight. We look at our satellite during the middle portion of the day and we can see our two storms very clearly. Here's the one for tonight. No, it's just it's a couple of greens, some yellows. These are clouds that are a little higher up in the atmosphere. That's for tonight. But we have a massive, massive system here, really high clouds. That means it's a lot of precipitation with it. And that is coming for us this weekend. You can almost see the center of circulation right here off the coast of Washington during the midday hours. On our Thursday, it will crash ashore Thursday night and then make its way eastward here. But let's start off with what we have for tonight. 10 p.m., it's just starting to get into the area. 1 a.m. on Friday, notice that rain snow line. That is pretty much from Stafford Township over to Mullica, Estelle Manor, Vineland Millville Commercial Township on east will be rain and that's what we do expect for the nighttime hours to the west it is snow that does accumulate it will stick to the roads that are untreated that continues into early friday morning and then notice as we get to rush hour here rain for the coast starts to break up too but where you're seeing this pink that's trying to show a mix i do believe that this will be in fact rain for us so everywhere we'll see rain showers for the friday morning commute which is better news as opposed to snow that we would see earlier in the night and then as we make our way to 10 a.m. on Friday the snow and rain is over here and we will have a dry and brighter rest of the day. In terms of snowfall totals less than an inch for us here you can kind of see these grays getting into the area again for those places from about Stafford to Mullica to Commercial Township on west coating to an inch to the east if you see flakes it doesn't accumulate or it will just be plain rain. The majority of the snow holds to our north and west. So for today, temperatures mid-30s here across the area, filtered sunshine. It is seasonable. We go into tonight. Again, starts between 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., rain at the shore and along and east of the parkway. Temperatures actually rise overnight, so we will be 29 during the evening and then rise to above freezing as we get towards dawn, coming to an inch well to the inland. And then for Friday here, we see showers during the morning commute and then increasing sunshine as we go throughout the day. It will be a seasonable day with temperatures in the mid-40s. Here are our original storm scenarios for this weekend here. I laid these out for you on Tuesday. Day. Now, we will have two of these, or one of these, depending on where you are, but two of them here in South Jersey during this time. Here's an overview of the storm system, and you might get an idea of what we are expecting here just through that loop. Starts Saturday late in the afternoon during the evening, and then ends by Sunday afternoon. So we are talking about a 12 to 18 hour system here. Low pressure pretty much cuts through the Garden State, and then we have a cold front and a warm front that pass as well. Warm front first, and then the cold front on the back end. So, if you are in this green area, brief onset of snow that goes over to rain. And then your rain for the rest of the system here, and that should be from around midnight, Saturday night, through the end of the system. That is for about the same places that we'll see rain during the system on our Thursday night here going into Friday. Snow, briefly at the onset, to rain, to mix. As the cold air catches up with the precipitation for those from about Millville, Vineland, Hamilton, and in those places to the west. And then well to the north and west of Philadelphia, more snow as we go over there. New York City looks to also be in that snow briefly to rain and then to mix. These are winds at about 2,500 feet above our heads. I want to show you this because notice where we're at here. We're in the 50s, 50 to 60 knots. That's about 55 to 65 miles an hour. That can mix down to the surface as long as we get an embedded heavier rain band. Hopefully we will not, but if we do, then we're talking about isolated power outages as well as down tree limbs as well. Even inland, we can see gusts around 50 miles an hour. We'll also show you the coastal flooding. 
Spotty areas of just getting close to minor, but not minor flood stage here for Saturday morning. Then the Sunday morning high tide is the one to watch out for as we are in minor flood stage. We are also concerned for a flash freeze. We will have crashing temperatures, light winds, and quick timing. In fact, 8 to 10 hours is when we get down to the teens. We should be half that by the time the rain ends or the mix and by the time we get down to 32. So with that, even though the winds will stay elevated, high threat of refreeze can create ice sheets on untreated roadways and sidewalks. So be wary then Sunday afternoon and night. That might actually be the most impactful part of this storm because of all the ice that will form very quickly on Sunday. We'll show you the seven day forecast here. Temperatures crash to 13 degrees on Sunday night. And we only get to 21 on Monday. And there will be some of you that don't even get over 20, especially places like Hamilton and Deerfield, places in the western areas of our region. Nine on Monday night. This is our coldest air since we had that real severe cold outbreak at the beginning of last year and then we warm up as we go into the end of the week we'll show you the short seven day with the warm comes the wet and as we get towards the middle portion of the week we were watching out for a storm system could act similar to this one that we see rain and then trying to change over to wintry mix or snow but that is still several days away and we will keep you updated on that as we go through and after our upcoming storm systems. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at JoeMartWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or thepressofac.com slash weather.